I've had about 60 or 70 jobs in the entire working history. I started work 1971, age 15, for a local electrical contractors in Doncaster. As an apprentice, electricians have you doing the worst jobs possible. So you're in lofts. If there's a tile loose, you can see sunlight coming through. You could see asbestos dust. You see it wrapped around pipes with chicken wire holding it on, and then sometimes you climbed over it and it were hanging down, and that created more dust. To us, it wasn't something to fear. You were amongst waste, rubble, asbestos. You know, it was just part and parcel of your life. You didn't know any different. When I got to 66, I think it was because of my age, I got invited to a lung scan. Doncaster were doing a pilot scheme. I was in two minds whether to go or not because I was fit. Anyway, I had this scan, didn't think out about it. And then about two weeks after, I got a letter saying there's an abnormality showing up on the, uh, on the scan. And there's our, our last will say, like, it's no, it'll be no, look how fit you are and all that. So I had to go to this hospital, a doctor and a nurse were sat there. And straight away they said, have you ever worked with asbestos? There's something showing up on your scan. So it could be asbestos-related disease, or it could be lung cancer, or it could be nothing. You've got to be bulletproof if that doesn't affect you. So I goes out, and this nurse, no one upset, she says to me, well, don't worry about it, Paul, because if it's like due to asbestos, you'll be entitled to benefits. And I says, I don't want benefits. I says, I want my life, you know. I says, I want to, I've got my life, my third part of my life. You know, you go to school, to me that's one part. You go to work, that's your second part. And your third part is your retirement. She says, well, we'll see how it goes. I had to go for a PET scan. And she says, yeah, it's mesothelioma. I says, can't you take my lung out out like that? She says, you can't, because it's in line in your lung. And then I says, it's the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Work for going for that scan, I'd be all right. She says, you're saying that because you're upset. And I says, too true I'm upset. You know what I mean? I says, the world's just being turned upside down. She says, listen, it's not curable. The plus side is it's treatable and controllable. You'll be due disability. And I says, listen, you're on about that again. I don't want all that. I don't want to it. Then you, you, you'll, be able to, you, you'll be able to have a, a, a blue badge. I says, I can't, don't you understand what I'm saying? You know, I says... I want to be happy, I want to be healthy. I want to live a decent retirement. She says, you'll come voluntary to have a scan. And the scan showed something up. Now, this trial in Doncaster, it saved over 200 lives already. And don't worry, we'll get something to help you with uh, compensation, which they did, SARAG, and they were absolutely brilliant. And they even sorted me a solicitor, and I says, it's a waste of time that with me. I says, because I've been around block a few times, me, with jobs, so I'll not be able to get out. She says, the first job you had, Paul, are you still in touch with anybody? And I says, you are talking 50 years ago now. They'd been trying. So I thought, oh, I'll have a look on Facebook. And it were on Facebook. It just one blow. And I just says, how are you doing, Terry? I've been diagnosed with mesothelioma. And he says, Barry Leatherland died of that. And he was like another electrician that I work with. And his wife has got all people's names and everything. And then... The solicitor got in touch with me and she says, this first firm I work for, you know, as apprentice, has owned up for liability. Anger, it took over my life for a few weeks. You know, you do go through that, why? Why me? It's not fair. It shouldn't be happening. You grieve. It's a form of grieving. It's not beneficial to be angry. It ain't going to change. So you've got to make the boast of what's happening and still enjoy your life. That's the journey now me and my wife are on. Life's valuable. You realise how lucky you are to be alive. Going back two years now, when that letter come through the door to say you've been invited for a scan, and I were in two minds whether to go or not, all I can say is, don't even think about it. You go, and don't walk there, run there, because it's the best thing I ever did.